Um, I was watching another interview a few, a few weeks back of you, and you were joking about uh, how Miss Hans enjoys the calls that you get at 2 a.m. And, and you say, you did what? Um, what or they did. What? Well, so, you know, most yeah. of the time it's somebody reporting something that someone else did. Okay, okay. Um, talk about the parts of the job that you did not anticipate, even though you are Mr. Anticipate. You know, I, I think you, you don't anticipate some of the uh, personnel problems you have mm. and, and some of the uh, uh, people that, that – uh, they put you in a bad situation where you have to make difficult decisions. They don't work with you, and I didn't anticipate that probably well enough. Why was the uh, the forty thousand students by twenty twenty on Texas Tech campus? Why was that initiative so important to you? It's important for funding uh, in the state of Texas. Our main competitors are Texas A and M, University of Texas, and so I wanted to uh, to have. You know, more students we get paid per student, right? Per hour, and I felt like that when your competitors have fifty-five and fifty-six thousand students, you need to have at least forty. If if that growth continues, we could have forty-five or fifty someday. Um, people, some people have been critical and worried about the the fact that there is not going to be enough room for forty thousand students. Do you think we'll be ready? I think we'll be ready. Uh, you know, we're going to have some dorm problems, a little this year, but a lot next year in uh, 2015. How can the next chancellor uh, ensure that there aren't those problems? Well, they, they'd have to really get started on a dorm uh, real quick for it to open in the summer of uh, 15. Um, how long did you imagine the one billion dollar campaign? I know it surprisingly well for outsiders. It surprisingly only lasted uh, a little over a year. But for you, when you set out to do it, did you imagine it would? It would I be thought a billion successful? dollar campaign would take at least seven or eight years, and maybe hmm. ten, and um, and it did not exactly. And uh, it seemed that. Uh, you know, in, in September and October of 08, when the stock market just fell out, right? Um, I thought at that time there was a possibility that it might take uh, another 10 years. Hmm. We've been working on it a couple of years, but it, it was just tough. What, what, what was the toughest part about it? Um, just staying on top of everyone that, that's involved in fundraising, making sure they're calling on the right people, hmm. making sure they know when to call me to bring me in, uh, when they, you know, that they have a sense of judgment when there's uh, closing, that, that you can close a deal. Hmm. Did you, uh, what, what part of it do you think made it so successful? Because it, it well, did I, only last a good year and a half or I, so. I, I think the thing that made it most successful, we had a good team. Hmm. I mean, I had great people. Most of them are still here. They loved the school, they knew how to sell their product, and they didn't take no for an answer. That's my kind of people. Is that a, a plan that can be continually successful within the I next think, chancellor? And I think it should, and I think it will be. Um, besides raising a billion dollars, what, what is your proudest accomplishment over the last eight years? Oh, uh, getting the growth. Uh, the uh, the billion dollar campaign, getting the growth, uh, bringing in new deans, mm -hmm. uh, following uh, people that did well in academia, and they got promotions. Their department head or deans now. Uh, I think that management's a, a big part of it. Um, just recently, we have the new uh, Kent Hans Chapel. Why was it important for you to? one, build the chapel, and also to have the chapel of all things named after you? Well, I wanted a chapel. Uh, other schools have chapels. Right. I think uh, UT, Austin, and either OU or Missouri were the only other schools that didn't have a chapel at that time. And uh, we use it for weddings. We've used it for funerals, uh, for prayer meetings, for regular church services. And it's, uh, it's really worked out well. It's a, it's a neat place. October 11th, 2013, uh, what, what is the first thing that comes to mind? That's the day of your retirement. 
uh, that the regents voted on it. What's the uh, first emotion that you have or the, or the first thought well, that comes to you mind? you know, I think back to that. That was an emotional time for me. I, I don't get emotional about it now, but I, but I did then. My voice cracked a little, and, and that, that was a certain part of my life that's ending. Right. We won't go back. And uh, I've always had a, a moment of sadness when I left the state senate, when I left the U.S. Congress, when I left the private sector of the law practice. And so uh, my, my first thought was, you know, I'm going to miss it. Uh, second thought was, we've changed. We mm -hmm. have changed Texas Tech. And I say we. It's not just me. It's not just the faculty. It's the faculty, the students. Uh, they've been focused in going in uh, uh, the same direction, and so it's it's uh, it's been a great run, and uh, I've uh, I've really enjoyed it. There was, uh, as you mentioned, there was a moment you uh, you said to the regents that it has been 52 years and one month ago that my parents brought me to Texas Tech, and I've loved it ever, ever since. Um, you got very emotional in that moment. What were you thinking and what, what were you feeling in that moment? Well, you know, I, I, I might, again, I hope not, but I just think back to my mother and dad. If they could have been alive to see me make that announcement, how proud they'd be. My dad had an eighth grade education. Hmm. Uh, they didn't, you know, didn't have college. Uh, and my mom uh, worked at the, as a secretary at the courthouse. And uh, they, they were good people. They didn't dream little dreams for me. Uh, they wanted me to have the best, and uh, they uh, they gave me a good foundation. But I think that's the thing that I thought thought about looking back on it, and and my sisters agree that uh, how proud they'd have been to see that moment, or to see us when we dedicated the uh, Ken Hans Chapel.